So we're going to look now at the bowel cancer diagnosis pathway. So at the point at which you are diagnosed, what happens then? Um, so once you've had um, a colonoscopy or um, a, a other sort of endoscopy, um, which is the camera, the, the lung um, test, um, if there's something that might be a suspected cancer there, you'll be further referred to be scanned, maybe an MRI scan or a CT scan, and, and you will see um, a consultant mm. um, who will um, interpret your results. And it's likely that if you, in the unlikely event that you are diagnosed, you will hear the news from the specialist nurse or the consultant, and then a treatment pathway will be um, agreed with you, discussed and agreed with you, depending on the stage of your cancer. And for BNR Hospital, for example, they will be referred to one of our oncologists who deal with bowel cancer. And uh, from that point, the oncologist will make sure that the scan's been done, you have to go through, through CT scan, MRI scan, ultrasounds, or even PET scan to get better pictures of what's going on in the bowel. Um, and then what we offer in BNI also is something called the TNM system. It's tumor, nodes, and metastasis. Uh, we call this a staging, and I think uh, Judith and Vivian, you guys have mentioned that early on. Uh, and it's again uh, to find out if there is a tumor and what stage the cancer is. Um, so we can get, we can give to the patient the best treatments. Yeah. So, so to talk a bit about staging, because it's quite interesting in terms of um, diagnosis and survival as well. Um, T TNM staging means what size the tumour is, mm -hmm. if there are any lymph nodes involved, and if it has metastasized. And metastasized just means if the cancer has spread to other parts of the body. And that makes a difference between a, very, a stage one cancer that we were talking about earlier and a stage four cancer um, in terms of a stage one will be uh, within the bowel wall still. And that's why it's so successfully treated because essentially a surgeon goes in Cuts out the cuts out the tumor, leaves a uh, identified um, border around, so it takes the tumor plus some other tissue to make sure that everything has been taken out, and then essentially you will get put back together again, for want of a better word. Sorry, it's a bit crass, and you will um, just go back to, to normal life. And then depending on um, what what the pathologist might think of that tumor, you may maybe follow a course of chemotherapy or, or yeah, and follow up. Sounds like an incredibly emotional moment, very hard to take in, um, that moment at which you are diagnosed with bowel cancer. It was a tremendous shock to me, that's for sure. Like I said before, I thought I was doing everything right and keeping fit and healthy. Um, so it was a shock and I was actually on my own. I, I'd been for my colonoscopy. Uh, it was the nurse that sort of said, basically, I can't tell you but it, this is what it looks like and um, that the consultant will need to tell you. So to be honest, everything happened very, very quickly. Mm. I had my colonoscopy beginning of October uh, 2012. Um, soon after that I had a CT scan. I'm not too sure what um, order I had them. I had a PET scan, I had an MRI scan. Um, obviously I was told it was stage 3C cancer and I actually had my um, surgery, which was a keyhole surgery at that point, and half of my colon removed um, in November. So it was in about four weeks. It was very, very rapid. Uh, at, yeah, in BMI, we always try also when the doctor needs to give bad news, we always make sure there is a nurse in a room. I don't know if it was the case with you, Vivian, but where well, we work in here in BMI, we always make sure there is yes. a consultant and a nurse there. Yes, there yeah. was, yeah. Because it's, it's a lot to take on psychologically, you know, you do, you need so much help. And in terms of the information that people need at that point going forward and their families might need, where, where did they turn at that point? Where did you turn at that point? I was given a lot of information, uh, it was actually Macmillan um, mm -hmm. booklets uh, to do with the whole everything really. It was a booklet for everything um, and it was one of those booklets particularly that the consultant actually sort of put the cross on to say this is what stage cancer you're at and it explains everything and there's various booklets um, basically to do with like life with bowel cancer 
um, and lots on the internet as well as Judith said. Um, I, I think I've always been quite a positive person, so I don't think I've actually gone out and hunted for as much support as maybe other people would need. I kind of almost sort of uh, took a deep breath in, took it on the chin and like, right, okay, this is just a little tester and, and, and let's go for it. It, it actually, um, I think, impacted more on family and friends than, than maybe it was me. I was, I was in control because it was me mm -hmm. and other people said to me, I don't, you know, I don't know how you can be like this. But it was much worse for them in some respects. I know that sounds a bit bizarre, but certainly my husband likes to be in control of things, and he he couldn't control what was going on with me, and I think that was hard for him. And what what is there that the, the charities provide for, for people at that point? What, what is there that people can can turn to? Uh, well, obviously we provide at Vision Bank Council, we provide support and information. So we have a nurse advisory service that. Uh, people can contact for specific inquiries, but and, uh, and uh, uh, the website has a wealth of information as I've already mentioned, beatingboundcancer.org. Um, there's information about every stage from symptoms, signs and symptoms through to uh, living with and beyond bowel cancer. And all beating bowel cancer's information is information standard accredited, which means it's been reviewed by um, professionals, um, so that it's, it's based on the evidence, but it's also been reviewed by people affected by bowel cancer. So, we've heard how the charities are involved in terms of, of, of the journey um, and supporting people on that journey. What happens uh, after diagnosis? People can get their information from the charity, but what happens on that on the healthcare side? So, on the healthcare side, the patients will come and see their nurses and their consultants. So, they will have regular follow up or clinic with their consultant. Um, so, usually, usually, like I did say before, the nurse will be present at the time of the diagnosis. And then, follow up to this, uh, she will support and communicate with the patients throughout their care, explaining uh, the diagnosis and explaining the treatment as well. Um, it's really important that the patient understand the treatment that she's that it's going to to go through, uh, how many cycles, the side effects of the treatment, um, and how best can the patient carry on life as normal as possible. Um, and also at this stage, we will um, uh, refer patients or family to different sections, like the Macmillan nurse will be really number one for us because at BMI Hospital we have um, an excellent, excellent Macmillan nurse t uh, team who are so helpful to patients and family. Um, in terms of the role of the bowel cancer nurse, she, she will need to have regularly audits uh, with her work via questionnaire, she will give questionnaire to patient, make sure her service is, is as you know as high as quality that is possible. So also, it's about providing continuity of care, symptom management, psychological support, um, and it's not about when your treatment is finished and you cure that not, uh, you, you stop saying your uh, doctor. You are always under our care, but even if your treatment is finished, you can always call us at BMI Hospital and we can always try to give you the best advice as possible. And you will still be follow up, follow up with your consultant every six months uh, to make sure that everything is fine. Yeah. I think it's also quite positive to point out that actually you'll be cared for by an awful lot of people who you might not see, but you know, as an individual, there will be that there will be multidisciplinary meetings at which different members of staff are brought in to talk about your particular cancer and what's best for you and you know so there can be a wealth of other people all working on your behalf um, which uh, you know for anyone I think is is a really positive thing to think that there are all these people behind you with all their expertise um, doing, working really hard to make sure that you come through your cancer and you come out the other side and you, you return to a, a normal life. That's the end of this part of the discussion. If you want more information, look out for the other episodes in this series and visit our website at bmihealthcare.co.uk 
look out for the Bee Bowel Cancer Aware campaign page where you can download our awareness guide.